Alright, hi everybody on YouTube. Today I'm going to be show you how to make a Halloween card. And right now I have cardstock. Well, vanilla folder. And, um, I already pre-cut it. So, you get a circular item and then put it on the bottom and trace it. So, right now it's going to look like that. It's going to have a spider web on it. Alright, I'm going to make one. And I already threaded the yarn. And... Um, so you want to make holes now. So one there, just going to pre-pierce it and directly across. And then one here. And I think I'll have two more here. They don't have to be even. So you thread your needle, like so. I don't exactly know how long this is, but you can just estimate. And then tie a knot at the very end. Just. And a basic knot will work. Then you go and thread it through. So here's going to be the first. Okay, I'm back. I have some technical difficulties. Um, so I made it across, and then I think I'll do this one next. It could be random. It doesn't really matter. So. And then to this one, and then you keep going around. It kind of looks like a dream catcher, but yeah. So you keep on doing this, and I'll do that. Um, I'll come back when I'm done with the stringing of all the holes. Okay, so I just string them all, uh, looped, and then there's the back, looks something like that. But next time when I do this card, if, um, I would cut this part a little, I would leave a little more room, so it'd be a little more sturdier. Okay, so after you do that, um, you want to tie a knot in the middle, so just go in the middle, wrap it around, and then just go through. And that would be a secure knot. And then a spider web, usually, um, see a circular motion. So you're just going to go in and out. And it's going to be very loose. So. Just like that. So up and down motion. Um, you could also put some pattern paper on top, so it looks better. But basically, here's my spider web, and I can just take off the pin and reshape it so it looks more spider-like. And then at the end of this, I'll attach um, a spider. So it's gonna look like and then over here I'll attach the spider that I cut out. It's gonna look like that. Uh, 
Um, this would be the perfect time to use your spider stamps for Halloween. It's gonna look like that. And then I'm gonna have a happy Halloween on the side. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, to finish this card, I want to stamp Happy Halloween, but it seems like I ran out of room in the front. Again, I would advise you to put, like, pattern paper or something to spice it up. Um, so, I have my stamp pad, and I have Happy Halloween stamped out. And I'm just going to push it in. Oh, my A just dropped. And then I'll stamp it centered in the middle. Right there. And that is it. Okay, so like I lied, I'm gonna put a little more color. I'm gonna have orange. And I'm gonna just go on top of the black I just did. So, I'll give a little more pop of color. So I'm gonna just line it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so here's the finished card. Looks like that. And then inside, when they open it, it will say Happy Halloween. And that is it. Alright.